So what do you like about Alex as a youth group leader or a person? Well, <laughs> Who's Alex? Okay. Do you know who this is? I don't know who Alex is. Wait, isn't he that British chap? Oh yeah, wait, who's gone? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. He's really, really kind. And if you have a problem, you can talk, you can talk to him about it. So, I like that, yeah. So, I remember when Alex took us all to a Riverhounds game, and then the row behind us got the free cookies that they pass out at the games. And then John Victor was right beside him, and there was an empty seat in that row. And so he picked up John and put him in the row behind us, and then he got himself a free cookie. <laughs> Did you get a cookie? Uh, no. Well, I gotta say, he has great taste in youth crime. He did the perfect impersonation of my Beauty and the Beast obsession, and he's a really great guy to be around. Who would you say is cuter of the oh, three of them? Definitely Beatrix. Um, John Victor? No, no, it's Beatrix. John Victor? John Victor. Beatrix. Ha! It's John Victor! No, it's Beatrix! It's John Victor! It's Lydia! So the first time I ever met Alex, we were about eh, over there, and he introduced himself because I guess he knew he was I was a youth, and so we talked a lot. And then I mentioned I played soccer, and his eyes lit up, and the story went from there. Uh, well, we had a few kickabouts, which I didn't know they were called kickabouts. He's British. <laughs> we're the Lost Boys without our Peter Pan. Why were you gone for so long? Um, well, his voice is kind of funny, and I like it, so, welcome home, Alex. Uh, he's nice. Welcome home. Hello. Come back! <laughs> hey, Alex, glad you're back. Yeah! Hi! Hi! What's Appreciate up? the Hi. You and your lovely volunteers wrangle these cats. Yeah! Wow. It's probably a lot of work. <laughs> Alex, please come back. Oh, you make it sound so pathetic. We don't really have a lot of other people in our lives who call us up and ask to hang out with our children. And our kids love it. So that's great. And we love that. Yeah. Yeah. So. And uh, we appreciate how much you work on youth group, how much you think and plan for youth group. Um, it's very impressive. And the emails, there are a lot, but they're super funny. I they're, really, I, I don't know, them. I stopped reading them in November. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I read them, it's good. Hi Alex, thanks for everything you've done for Mari while you've been here, and I look forward to another year of harassing you about room reservations. Hi Alex, we're on vacation in Boston this week, but we wanted to take a minute to tell you how much we really appreciate your work. We so appreciate you working with our lovely youth, and especially our gentle, meek, Sweet, compliant daughters, Lucy and Eva. And I love serving with you in church, especially because you have such a nice singing voice and such a nice accent. But Alex, truly the thing we found most impressive about you are your superior British socks. He's got this really nice, warm personality. He's got lovely hair and a delightful bit of English snark. Yeah. I just love the way he loves the teenagers. I do too. It's amazing. Cool. He's amazing. One of my best friends. Um, I've had so many amazing conversations in their kitchen about life, about love, about God. Like, I really feel closer to God just by having her in my life. Wow, I didn't know you felt that way about Alex. Yep. Uh, is Alex. This, isn't this about Jane? I'm, I'm confused, does he work with us? Alex, great to have you back. As you can see from the kids, uh, everything has gone well in your absence, which I have to say is a great testimony, not only to Danielle and Katie and all the volunteers, um, but to you. You've set this program up and it's running and you've got Kelsey and the team, well done. It is great to have you back, and we hope you had a fabulous time in England. 
I am so glad that you are on this team. Thank you, Alex. I actually think the program has been run fantastically this summer. I really think eliminating the full-time position and just handing it off to a series of interns and volunteers has been going incredibly smoothly. I think it's going to be great for the budget, and I'm really looking forward to continuing this into the fall. Um, Harry, this is for Alex's welcome back. Thing. He's coming back Thursday. He's coming back? Alex, Alex, welcome back to another year at Hogwarts. We hope you've had a great time out there with all the muggles back in England. I think you do really well um, in so many ways. And I was just thinking about the way that you think big picture, you know, the integration of good learning and good content and good process and good relationships. Not only are you shaping individual lives for the kingdom, but this looks like it's poised to explode, to really have an impact in the East End of Pittsburgh where many lives could be involved. And it's not just you one-on-one, -on -one, but so many people involved all over the city, uh, loving the Lord, loving kids. It's gonna be an exciting year back here at Hogwarts. So Danny, you and Kitty were in charge this month while Alex was gone. How you feeling? A month? It's already been a month. It's been the easiest month of my life. Well <laughs> Alex. Uh -oh. <laughs>